Philip and Knuckles. One day, Philip the Diesel box cap something something wrong. He saw two figures coming. He saw two figures coming towards him. He did not know who they were. However, no. Philip did remember meeting them, but he sometimes don't remember who they are. So he decided to ask. Why, hello there, new friend. What's your name? Asked Philip. Oh, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm Knuckles the Kenda. Don't you remember us? We came to the island of Sodor. You introduced us, remember? Remember that venture we went to on to England? Oh yeah, said Philip. I remember, said Philip. What are you guys doing here anyway? Well, said Sonic, me and Knuckles are just have we have nothing to do right now. Although we are on that missing equipment mystery with Thomas the Percy. But however we decided that we should just wait on that later. However, I'm gonna be taking care of some things, trying to solve that mystery. Why don't you and Knuckles just go on an adventure or tell stories? Suggested Sonic. I mean, besides, I don't think you have any work to do, do you, Philip? Well, I just need to finish something. That's my job in the yard, of course. But other than that, I could probably hang out with you, Knuckles. That's subtle then, said Sonic. You do that while I take care of things. All right then, said Knuckles. See you later, called Knuckles. Bye, Sonic. And with that, Sonic walked away to his office to solve some mysteries. So tell me, Philip, said Knuckles. Tell me about your, a little bit more about yourself. Tell me some stories. I'm sure there's a lot of stories I did not know about you. Well, said Philip, I don't have much adventures, but I did beat Gordon in a race. And I did escape from Big Bully Vinny during the Great Railway Show. I did make new friends with Toby, the tram engine. I did make friends. I did make friends with Toby and his coach Henrietta. Philip added, and I also went to meet a new friend named Heigl, the proper engine. He was one of the fastest engines in the world. Wow, said Knuckles. I bet he's even faster than Sonic. He's way even faster than Sonic. And there's another engine named the Flying Scotsman. He's Gordon's brother. Well then, how come Gordon has never told me that? Knuckles wondered. I have no clue, said, said Philip. He never said that either. But anyway, the factory driver came by earlier. He said that he had a special job for me. He wanted me to pick up the Christmas tree from Brendan Docks and bring it here. Knuckles was excited. That's awesome, he said. And speaking of Christmas party, me and Sonic would be there before we had to leave. Well, not for a while, of course, but... We'll soon return soon in the new year, but we don't have to worry about that yet. But that's awesome, said Knuckles. I'm very pleased, said, Son said Knuckles. Yeah, I'm very excited, said Philip. Hold on, I'm going to this for a minute. Hold on, I'm going Stupid truck. Yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> is there any stories you have? asked Philip. 
Well, said Uggles, I don't have much, but there was a time where... He paused impressively. Well, me and Sonic argued over who should help Percy with her bike, but we went to Tails' workshop to fix it. However, however, we started to cause really a lot of trouble, but we didn't realize that Tails' workshop caught fire. However, Tails was very cross and was not happy to see his workshop being on fire. But we kept arguing about who should help. But we realized that it's very important just let that person do it, not let you get away with it. And there was also a time where Eggman lived with Sonic for a few days until he had plot something evil. Because none of me or Sonic or Tails or Amy didn't realize that Styx was telling the truth about Eggman taking over. Or just he had a tr he tricked them into thinking that his lair got destroyed in the storm, which was fake, of course. And nobody had believed Styx until that day happened. So they went to Dr. Eggman's lair and stopped his robot from destroying his lair. However, Sonic managed to destroy him by using a large piece of wood, metal, destroy him, but his lair got destroyed. And then he went to visit Sonic and his friends so he can stay there for a few days. And then... He also volunteered to help to be Sonic's sidekick. However, it was actually a trick. Eggman wasn't really being Sonic's sidekick. He was only doing that to destroy them. But none of us know that until Tails decided it was up to him to get his sidekick job back. Wow, Knuckles. You certainly have a lot of stories. It's great to hear it, said Philip. Thank you, said Knuckles. You know, this is going to be good. We could be good friends, said Knuckles. And so the two, ta two friends chatted for a while. But just then... Edward Busto in. Hello, Philip, he said, and hello, hello, Knuckles. What are you two up to? Well, me and Philip, me and Knuckles decided to hang out with each other and telling stories from the past. He's telling me some of the stories that he's been, he had been through in his TV show, Ad replied Philip. Ah, I see, said Edward. You must be talking about the new Sonic Boom TV show. That's right, Edward. That's right, Edward, said Knuckles. I'm telling Philip all the stories. I'm telling, no, I'm telling Philip all those mysteries and stories that have been happening back in our island. Back in our, back in our island. But anyways, what are you doing here? Well, I've been given a day off. So I thought I'd just came by to see what you guys were talking about. Well, we were talking about the same past stories, said Philip. You want to join us? Of course, said Edward. I had many stories to tell. So Edward decided to come up with one. Well, there was a time when I had to help Gordon on, on his hill while pulling a goods train. And I helped him, him and Duck, on Gordon's hill. And Duck was taking his trucks and Gordon was taking his passenger. And I was asked to be his back engine.
for two trains. Wow, said Philip. You have more stores than I do, said, said Philip. I only started it. Don't worry, Philip. I'm sure you'll get one soon. Then Philip remembered. I am picking up the Christmas tree from Brenham Docks. And the fact that Charlie wants me to bring it here. See, that's exciting, said Edward. You at least get a story like that. Philip smiled. He knew that Edward was right. Well, I better get going. But I'll tell you guys more stories at Christmas time, said Edward. I have to go now. I gotta keep an eye on Wellswood Station. He shuffled away. See you later, Edward, called Knuckles. See you soon. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, called Edward. And he chuffed away. Well, I better be getting going now, said Knuckles. It was good talking to you, to you, Philip. Thanks, Knuckles, said Philip. And I enjoy it too. Just then, Sonic arrived. I could tell you guys had a good chat. Did you guys enjoy yourself? he asked. Of course, Knuckles said. We've been telling a lot of stories, especially the time when you and I argued over who shall help Percy with her broken bike. Oh, right, said Knuckles, said Sonic. I was afraid you would tell him that, but that's all right. No worries. And so... And yeah, said Knuckles, that's pretty much all we talked about. It was great to have talk to you. I enjoy myself, said Philip. Philip said to Sonic, Knuckles is a good friend. Well, I'm glad you two had made good friends. Well, I mean, at least we already know each other, but glad to hear it. And so, Philip and Knuckles were good friends who are now good friends and treat like each other friends and Philip's gonna always always going to remember this day and he had a good friend in Knuckles Dean Kenda and Sonic the Hedgehog